In market, thousands of online chatting applications are available. But do you ever think, developing one by yourself? If so, you are at the right place. In next few minutes, you will be guided through developing an online chat application. So just stay with me till the end, for all the fun. If you think about a very basic chat window, you can say there are basically three segments. The header, the main chat window, and finally the message typing section at bottom. There can be a separate contact list section, but for shake of simplicity, keeping that aside for now. So, we shall design this UI at first. Let's create three divs, for header, main message area and typing area. I shall add a header text here. Let's add a text area, and a send button in the typing section. Ok, let's make this a bit colorful. Don't worry for these CSS, the code you can download from links in the video description. We made a nice header. And we are done, with basic design stuff. Now we need to design the bullets for messages. I am adding here two different types of message box. One for the messages which are sent by the user, another one for the messages received by the user. Now, I have to add few styling again, for these two. So, let's go to CSS and add few styling with it. Yes, that's look better, right? Now let me remove these boxes from here. These will appear dynamically, when user will send or receive a message. Now, we have a own click method, for the send button, send message. I shall define this in JavaScript tab. Our purpose is, when the send button will be clicked, the message whatever user will be written, should be sent to other user. And also the message should be appeared, at the message area. Ok, so this line picking up the message written by the user from text area. Now I am writing a dynamic HTML string for the bullets, we developed for message text. Let's append this with the message area's inner HTML. And also clear the text area. So, let's test this. And as you can see, it's working as expected. So from design perspective we are done. Let's export this. That's our resulted file. Before going forward, let me request you, please subscribe to Channel Code Board. Your subscription, like and comments motivates me to create many such interesting videos for all of you. Let me now, explain you how does a chat application work. When user write a message and click on send button, the message goes to chat server. As soon as chat server receives the message, it broadcasts that to all or few other users, who are connected with the server. Important part of this technique is, if server wants to broadcast messages to all connected users, then server has to keep alive the connections between all users, right? For that we shall use a new protocol, called WebSocket protocol. This is developed on the top of HTTP, but unlike HTTP it keeps the connection alive between server and client always. Now as you can see, I have opened the chat HTML file in Visual Studio Code Editor. I shall create another file here, server.js. 
I'm going to write few lines of Node.js code to create a HTTP and WebSocket server. So let's install Express first using npm. Also install Socket.io. Let's write code to create HTTP server. Okay, as you can see I have created a HTTP server here, which will listen at port 3000. Also I have added a route, slash chat, which will serve the chat.html file. Let's start the server. Node space server.js. Okay, the server is running. Let's test from browser. Okay, so chat page we are getting in the browser to, using localhost, in 3000 port. As I mentioned earlier, that WebSocket is based on HTTP, so we developed a HTTP server first. Now I shall write code for WebSocket, for chatting functionality. Based on these lines, whenever a user will be connected with the Socket server, the user online message will be printed. Now, this will be executed when a message event code board dash message will be received from client end. First it will print the message in console. And then the message will be broadcast to all other connected clients. Now, you may ask what is client? Yes, that is what we are going to write now in chat.html file. Let me first include the CDN link for socket IO client JavaScript file. I shall mention this link in video description. Now, First we shall create a client inside window on load. Creating socket IO client is a single line of code. This line defines a client, which will connect with a server at port 3000. Now I am writing code, to dynamically add a new message box, when a new message will be received from other user. Now appending that dynamic HTML with message areas content. If you could remember I broadcasted the code board message broadcasted event from server file. And now receiving that message event here. Also notice I am using other message box CSS class as this message is from someone else. So based on new message received, our dynamic HTML string is ready and being appended with message area. Now we have to write code in send message method also, for sending user written message to chat server. For that, we just have to write socket.emit codeboard-message and then message variable. Now this codeboard-message event has to be same as the server files receiving event name. And our development is completed. We are ready for testing. Let's start the server. So as you can see I have opened two browsers here, Chrome and Firefox, just to mock as two users. In the server console, you can notice the user online message, two times, because two browsers are connected. Now let's start chat between two browsers. And it is working great, right? So that's it guys for today. In next video, I shall show you how to host this in online for free. So please subscribe to my channel for getting update about new videos at earliest. Also let me know your feedback. Bye for now.